Hi everyone, I'm Shubham Jhavar. I'm a master teacher at Vedantu. We are discussing J Advanced 2021 Paper 1 Mathematics and the question for this video is this. You may pause the video and read the question very carefully. As you might have seen the question very carefully, there is a clear feeling that we should be using telescopic series in tan inverse. Also note that in the options, everywhere we are talking about as x greater than 0. So that means uh, where k is also some natural number, k uh, varying from 1 to n, the summation is going on, uh, k varying from 1 to n. So k is some natural number, x is positive, so that means this inside expression is positive. Yeah. So cot inverse of uh, uh, anything like this, we can write as tan inverse of reciprocal of that thing, given that that thing is positive. So here this expression is positive. So uh, s and x, we may write as sigma k equal to 1 to n, 10 inverse x by 1 plus kx multiplied by k plus 1x. So we'll be looking to create tan inverse alpha minus beta divided by 1 plus alpha beta sort of thing so that we can create the telescopic series tan inverse alpha minus tan inverse beta, so to speak. So here, uh, in numerator there would be x, but I will uh, smartly write it as k plus 1 times x minus kx, which essentially is x only. So uh, here, k plus 1 x is always positive because x is positive, k plus 1 is some natural number. kx is positive uh, because x is positive and k is a natural number. So here you can write s and x is equal to sigma k equal to 1 to n tan inverse k plus 1 x minus tan inverse kx. <coughs> now coming to the first option, s of 10 x. As you write uh, for k equal to 1, k equal to 2, k equal to 3, so and so forth up till k equal to 10, and you add, you would get s 10 x as 10 inverse 11 x minus 10 inverse uh, x. So uh, this essentially becomes 10 inverse 11x minus x, that is 10x, divided by 1 plus 11x multiplied by x, that is 11x square. Now again, 10x uh, and this 1 plus 11x square, this whole expression essentially is positive. So you may write this as uh, cot inverse 1 plus 11x square by 10x, which in turn you may write as pi by 2 minus 10 inverse 1 plus 11x square by 10x. x is positive. So A is the correct answer. Uh, it is a multiple choice, multiple correct type question. Let's explore the option B. So here, as you go for option B, limit uh, n tending to infinity cot of s and x uh, equal to x for all x greater than 0. Let's explore. So here, s and x uh, essentially turns out to be, if you see carefully, s and x will turn out to be as you, uh, you know, uh, do the summation from uh, k equal to 1 to n, you would essentially get 10 inverse n plus 1x minus 10 inverse x. It's a telescopic series very easy to uh, comment upon. So this you can very easily get. Now as n tends to infinity, s and x tends to, as n tends to infinity, uh, s and x tends to, you may say, tan inverse of, uh, uh, you know, infinity times x, mind it, x is positive. So tan inverse of, indeed it is infinity and not minus infinity or uh, it's not something which we can't comment about. It is tan inverse of infinity, so to speak. So it goes to pi by 2 and tan inverse x remains as it is. Why? Because this term doesn't anyway depend on n. So uh, now what about cot of s and x as n tends to infinity? Clearly it will be cot of pi by 2 minus tan inverse x pi by 2 minus tan inverse x is cot inverse x, cot of cot inverse x is x, so this is also correct. Now coming to option C, S3x, S3x essentially will be what? Tan inverse 4x minus tan inverse x. Again, x uh, we are considering as positive, we are looking for root for uh, x being positive, or we are looking for positive root of x. So uh, for this to be equal to pi by 4, if you take 10 on both sides, you essentially get 3x by 1 plus 4x square equal to 1. That essentially means 4x square minus 3x plus 1 
equal to 0. Now what about the discriminant? b square 9 minus 4ac minus 16. It's minus 7. It's, it's negative. So discriminant being negative, that means it does not have any real root. What do we speak of a, a positive uh, root? It's, it does not have even real root. So uh, here, c is incorrect. Now coming to d, we have to comment upon tan of s and x being less than or equal to 12 or not for all n greater than or equal to 1 and x greater than 0. Now if n is greater than or equal to 1 is what we are talking about, I can even take n to be tending to infinity, in which case s and x, which we have already found out, tends to pi by 2 minus tan inverse x. So what about uh, as n tends to infinity, what about 10 of s and x? It essentially becomes 10 of pi by 2 minus uh, 10 inverse x, or you may say 10 of cot inverse x, which essentially becomes 1 by x. Now, uh, as x is greater than 0, and it's not necessarily taking only uh, integral values, it can be anything, any real value greater than 0. So here, 10 of s and x, as n tends to infinity, which doesn't violate this condition, which uh, complies with this co condition that n greater than or equal to 1, this expression is 1 by x. And this can very well be greater than half and not necessarily less than or equal to half. For example, you may even take x to be 1. x is greater than 0. x equal to 1 is greater than 0. So that essentially means d is also incorrect. And what we had to uh, mark were, uh, you know, the options which were supposed to be true, which are supposed to be true. So a and b are the answers. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for the next question.